mostly people who know me here in the hood of this marvelous little, fabulous little, horrible little suburb called Champaign, Illinois, is that the people who know me know that I have a loving heart for these crazy little creatures I call quackers. Those quackers are crazy for the Dollar Tree crackers. They are not the most marvelous things to eat for people, but let me tell you, they love those crackers. The problem is, today I was sitting myself in the shade to get out of the summer heat, and I was fired upon by my quackers flying overhead. And I thought, okay, I've done something wrong. God is pissed at me, because what I've known from having a vehicle long ago is that when I did something stupid in front of the Lord, the birds would shit all over my vehicle. But since I don't exactly have the same kind of vehicle as I once did, they managed to pelt the top of the roof of the place I was sitting near, and I thought I whew, got out of it. Then later, I found that mar marvelous green splatter on the collar of one of my shirts. So the mother of that group was madder as a hatter at me. Now, fortunately, a little bit later, God was saying, please sit and sit still. I tell you, mother and father God can be as bad as your own mother and father telling a little child of two or three to sit still. As a man who is always wanting to be on the go, on an adventure, doing things outdoors, enjoying life, talking to people, moving things along, sending love notes to the woman that I love, I just get a little impatient. But finally, God said, it's time to go. And as I got up and turned the corner from where I was seated out of the way so that nobody could be pestered by me or me pester me in any way, what I saw was one of my families of 30 moseying their way down past Fazoli's towards me. And my dinner plan was actually Fazoli's, so I just had to laugh at that because I had just purchased some of those marvelous, horrible crackers. And I still had a bag of, well, not Cheerios, but basically oats that are probably made by the same General Mills company or whoever makes Cheerios. And openly, I think Cheerios makes Cheerios now, but that's not important. The point is I still had a half bag of that because God said that's enough for the family that you, of four that you fed this morning, which was brand new to hunting you down and expecting food. So, on that note, I moved myself into the parking lot as everything around me was closing, and I enjoyed myself doing exactly what the Lord instructed me to do, to carefully feed the birds. Now, usually those moshless birds will come right around me, happy to see me, loving on me, making their little bitty whispery noises that they make to me, and literally kind of whispering their little, we love you, feed us please. But today they were more cautious, very much like the family of four this morning. And I was trying to figure out what in the motherfucking world did I do to piss them off? And why in the hell are they crapping on me from above like a fighter jet for the American Air Force. But what I realized was that there was another man in the community pushing a cart. And then it made me wonder, do geese have the ability to see me or do they only have a kind of eyesight that lets them get the vision of a mirage like me moving through the community? So that's something I want to look up, is how good are their eyesight? Because I have noticed among some of my more regular geese family that some of them can't see a damn thing. And I'm thinking, okay, thank God they've got family. Because you can put stuff in front of them and they cannot see it. And you're like, hmm. So, as I'm making this sort of impromptu and casual hobby-like study of these American, or Canadian, not really sure which actually, geese, I'm sitting there wondering what did I do to piss off God? I probably figure it's because of my lack of prayer on a Sunday. Now, most of us who came out of Christendom know that it used to be true that the Sabbath was on actually a Saturday, I believe. But I could have gotten that all monkeyed up. You know, I came out of a Methodist house of faith into a Christian cult in college and openly that was not the most marvelous experience for me, but that's not important. I certainly have done a lot of reading of a lot of different works by a lot of different authors, and some of my favorite works are coming out of Catholic Dome. And I haven't had a chance to read my Lutheran track because someone keeps interfering with that. But basically, they took all my tracks that I picked up from the Lutheran Church and the Presbyterian Church, and they ruined that. 
So, as you know, I'm in the midst of a hate crime. But that's not the point. The point was I was trying to figure out why God was pissed at me and why I got crapped on. But a part of my earlier scene with some local people, a box of cards went missing, and so did all of my water bottles that were in a zipper pouch, setting away from me as I was working to talk to someone else in the concept of a sandwich play. <laughs>